and welcome back to another vlog so different little change of scenery this weekend we are at my in-laws me and my husband came up here for the weekend and today there is not just one but there is two flea markets happening in like the area around us so you know we're going to both of them i'm just getting ready right now It's also supposed to be like 20 degrees or something today, so I will definitely need some sunscreen. <laughs> I am ghostly. So I'm not really looking for anything in particular at these flea markets, but it's always fun to go look. And I think there are some things that we have that we slowly want to replace. One of those things is our dishware. So we got dishes from a family member when we first got married and it's like, they're nice, but they're not our style. So, you know, of course, if we're going to a flea market and they have like a set of like plates and stuff for a good price and we really like them, then, you know, then I will consider getting those. <laughs> Also, other things like flower pots. We are always looking for nice flower pots and glasses. One thing is that we don't have any like proper wine glasses. I did get some like wine glasses from my grandmother. They're like old crystal wine glasses. I packed them so carefully in my suitcase and brought them to Germany, but they're like very small. They're definitely just like little white wine glasses, but I'd like some like bigger ones so who knows we will see what's there i'm not gonna bother doing much makeup at all today actually maybe just my eyebrows and that's it because it's so hot right so i'm not gonna really bother doing my hair too much because i bought a hat and i actually just got this yesterday because it's summertime, I need a hat when I'm walking to school. And I love it so much. I, I feel a little bit like a child when I wear this, but I don't even care. I love it. So this is how I'm preparing myself today. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. We are driving home. We're actually in a stau right now, a traffic jam on the highway. Totally typical in Germany. And because we're driving back home on a Sunday, it's like noon time, there's definitely gonna be a stau on the highway. When we do get home, I need to do like an antique thrift haul with you guys because we got so many, so many good things. You're gonna have to guess how much it all cost us because let me tell you, I was shocked. 
I was shocked. Now you have to decide if that was a negative or a positive shock. Yeah, so yesterday I stopped vlogging because it was actually my husband's birthday um, a few weeks ago, a week ago, a week and a half ago, in between the two. So we had family over and stuff. I didn't want to vlog when they were here, you know trying to give them their privacy and everything. But yeah, I'm really excited to be home. We also got another plant. So one of the things that we got from this flea market was a pot. Well, we got a few pots actually. One of them, we already filled with a fig plant. So my in-laws, they have a fig tree and it's grown so big in the last few years. And then it had like a little, in Canada we call it a sucker growing out from the bottom and then we like separated that and put it into our new pot and I hope I hope that we get our own fig tree I'm praying that this one survives good morning everybody so it is now early Monday morning you can maybe tell from my voice I just woke up it's like six o'clock I woke up so early today even though it's a Monday and usually my classes start later on Mondays but the school is taking us somewhere for like a day trip so we have to be there really early and I didn't end the vlog yesterday and I didn't show you guys what we got from that flea market that we went to so we ended up only going to the first flea market and this one was quite a bit different from the other one the other one I've been to before a few years ago and it's really nice because there's a lot of different vendors and stuff you know typical flea market this one was kind of put on by a church and then they donated all the money that they would earn the people working there were volunteers and they had the nicest things guys so we got more probably more than we needed to but really great things and very useful things i will add so first thing is we got three pots i got a new little one here for my cactus I don't know exactly how much they were, but there's just like an altogether price. And then I also got this pot, which is nice, like really heavy. And I think the colors on it and just the texture is really nice. And then my other pot is outside now. So I'll insert a clip here. I also got some garden shears. We didn't have any before and these ones are very nice. I, I'm pretty sure these are nice. It says Japanese stainless steel and there's this one garden shop. I think it's called The Garden Shop, D-E. Um, they have like Japanese garden shears and they're so expensive. So, you know, I don't know if this is that, but we were using it and it works really nicely so happy about that we did just get some other small utensil things my husband got this for when we get our barbecue up and running got a cheese knife the germans know this is from vmf the germans know vmf and then just a spoon but i thought they were nice with the wooden handles all right, and then another thing we got is this. It's like a little pot that you put garlic or onions in, and I just thought it was really cute. <laughs> so we got this. Ooh, and then we also got this great big bowl. And I don't know, we love collecting big bowls. We only have one like big, big bowl, and this bowl is a little bit bigger. So very nice for baking or making like a huge salad or something my whole family is gonna come and visit us um this year and there's gonna be a lot of people so it's gonna be nice to have like a big serving bowl <laughs> and then the last thing you have to follow me to see i bought this darling old chair and it just reminds me so much of the chairs at my grandma's house that's why i got it yeah, and yesterday I just polished up the wood and I think it looks really nice. All right, so now you guys have to guess how much we spent on all of that stuff. Three, two, one. 
25 euros isn't that crazy like the chair itself i feel like if we went to the other flea market the chair would have been like 20 euros um it was only like 12 and then everything else was just like a dollar oh i did forget there were a few other things that i did get um but there, I, I won't bother showing you i just got like a few sets of knitting needles because I was gonna work on a project and I needed those sizes and they were like brand new pretty much so I got my knitting needles there and they were <laughs> only like a dollar each and then the utensils were like 50 cents each the big bowl was like four and then all of the three pots combined were also four I think so yeah I'm happy about that and I'm happy that we didn't just buy like little knick-knacky things like we actually got some real stuff that we're really using <laughs> so happy about that so yesterday i stopped filming because oh, i just was not feeling good you guys i was feeling kind of burnt out and like very emotional <laughs> so my plan for the weekend was that okay friday evening after classes we're gonna drive up to my husband's parents were gonna be with them, celebrate, you know, relax on Saturday, and then on Sunday morning we were gonna drive home. But the problem is, is that when we got home, I was like already really exhausted. Um, so then I couldn't study as much as I wanted to on Sunday, and then I just felt bad about it, and then I was, yeah, I was kind of freaking out about my exams that I have coming up, and almost like I wasted the weekend like I was mad at myself for going this weekend even though I know it was totally fine for me to go and it's good for me to take breaks but I don't know I need to like get out of the mentality that every single day I need to spend studying and if it's like if I don't have a super productive studying day then <laughs> then it's like the end of the world or something and I think I need to kind of get past that barrier and focus on something else. I think it is really a little too bad because like I'm not doing bad in my classes at all. So far for the exams I've done pretty good actually and I just can't like I can't get past this mental block of oh but I could be doing better and that's so uh, it's just so toxic and I need to calm down about it and I need to figure out like why I put so much pressure on myself with academic success and stuff like that. I've been getting like twos in my exams that I've had so far and that's good. That's like not bad. But in my head, at the back of my head, it's like, yeah, but you didn't get a one. Oh, and I don't know why I'm like this so suddenly. So I was actually considering starting a new challenge, something that would kind of force me to put some focus on something else for a little bit and not just physiotherapy for, for a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like a reading challenge, maybe another fitness challenge, who knows? But anyways, <laughs> just spilling out my thoughts with you guys. I need to go finish getting ready for the day so i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys liked it if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up also make sure you are subscribed to my channel ring that little notification bell so you get reminded when i post another video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye